What the? Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm telling you, this is probably the palette of the year for me. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. You're still my All right, my glam sisters, I am so excited. You guys don't even know. I literally just got this in the mail like 20 minutes ago and I was downstairs taking my product shots, trying to get everything in, all the swatch comparisons, comparing it to the Novu palette to make sure that you're not overlapping. If you already own this palette, if you have any questions, we're gonna cover that today. I am so excited to begin. But before we get started, if you're new here, I'm Christy and I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and click that post notification bell. Join us, we're here every Friday and Sunday and we just love for you to become part of our family Please give this video a huge thumbs up when you guys hit the like button and when you comment below It really does help my videos out plus I love hearing from you guys You can follow me on all my socials at Christy Allure and check out my merch GlamorousLifeCollections.com All right, let's dive into this. Oh my goodness. Oh, do you see those shades you guys? Do you see those metallics because I have been saying this for a long time on my YouTube channel. I am a huge fan of Anastasia eyeshadows. I buy a lot of her individuals. I have all of her palettes. Yes, some are hit or miss. We can all be honest with that, but I absolutely loved the Novu palette, but this just gave me what I was missing from the Novu palette. This is just like a fall version of it. It's just beautiful, but these shades you can definitely use and all the seasons. I mean, really, you can create summer looks with this. You can create winter looks with this. This has a little more depth than the Novu palette and just some incredibly beautiful, different green tones. Lise, Susan in the Bay Area, this is giving me everything we wanted in the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. In my opinion, let me know in the comments section below. Is this not what we wanted from the Retro Palette? This is like dream shades for me right here. The mattes are as always so gorgeous with Anastasia Beverly Hills. You get those bronze warm tones, but you also get those cool taupe tones. You get neutral. You just get really everything out of this palette. This is the Rose Metals palette. This is very 90s inspired. That is just pretty much the trend. Everything is 90s and just very, uh, just a throwback. It's just beautiful. The looks she created on their Instagram page were just breathtaking to me. Like I could not tell you guys how excited I was. This runs $55. There is a 12 month shelf life and I'll put the size of the palette right there but you get 12 all new shades. So very exciting. These are versatile shades. You get almost 200% more of every shade than her original palettes. Now the Novu palette is the same pan size, but from her previous palettes, you get 200% because they used to be really tiny if you guys remember. And this is cruelty free, fragrance free, oil free, paraben free. So let's touch on the ingredients really quick and then we'll get into the shades. So one of the shades, Dune, is actually one that she does not recommend for use around the eyes. Now this is something we saw with her Novu palette and I did see that people had concerns over that and I completely understand, but we have to take a minute to appreciate Anastasia Beverly Hills transparency. That company to me stands out amongst all the other companies because they are the only ones to put that in their web page in bold letters and maybe scare off some people, but this is just one shade. So there was, I think, two or three in the Novu palette. And I went into more depth in the Novu video, so you can check that out. We'll kind of touch on it today because I did check out the ingredients on EWG, which is a fantastic site to really see the safety scores. And I found that most of those shades that I looked at that had potentially harmful uh, or sorry, ingredients and not shades. There's only one shade, but the potential harmful ingredients are in a lot of our eyeshadow palettes. Natasha Denona, Pat McGrath, everything we already use. I even see it in clean beauty products. So don't think that those are safe too. They just are not as transparent about it. They don't tell you. They don't put it in bold letters and scare you off. Anastasia does. So 
huge kudos to her. That puts her on the top of the list for me because you're getting performance and transparency. And to me, that's most important. So Dune, the three ingredients that I saw in there that could potentially be harmful in that shade, those ingredients are yellow five lake, blue one lake, and red seven. So I take, I noticed that I, those stood out from the Novu palette. So I went on to EWG and I kind of just broke stuff down for you guys just really quick. I don't want to spend too much time on that because it's just one shade. And personally, I'm probably going to still use it around my eye, but that's just my choice. Use with your own discretion. But when you look at the EWG scale, EWG verified is one through 10, 10 being the absolute worst. So if you look at Red Lake, number six or seven, that ingredient score is higher if used in products intended for use around the eyes due to increased risk of absorption. And it had an EWG score of one to six, remember 10 being the worst. And then yellow five, and that score is four to six, again, 10 being the worst. And then we have blue lake, and that score is two to seven, but those don't have any like warnings like the red lake does. But I do see that red and yellow pretty much seem to be a common denominator with a lot of eyeshadow products and pigments. So I just wanted to break that down really quick. I'm not an expert in this by any means. I just do my own research. So feel free to comment below if you're an expert in all this or you're an ingredient nerd. I know we have a couple amazing glam sisters that are amazing at ingredients. So let me know in the comment section if there's anything else that popped up. I didn't have a whole lot of time to spend on this so I can get this video out quick for you guys but you guys could take a look at the ingredients on her website right now it's currently only available as I'm filming on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website and I do have an affiliate link it's in the description box below just click that little arrow and you'll see everything I'm used on my face right now plus what we're going to utilize in the video so my foundation all of that I'm using a lot of Anastasia products today so I will have all that in the description box but I did want to quickly touch on those ingredients just in case you guys had any questions. So let's go over the first row. Oh my goodness, you guys. It's just like every single shade in here is so breathtaking. So Rose Quartz is the first shade and that's a metallic pink champagne with sparkling reflex. And then Royal is a sparkling burgundy with pink reflex. And then Haze is a metallic silver gold with multi-dimensional effects. Oh my gosh, this one is incredibly soft. So be careful, mine kind of melted, I think on my FedEx truck. I was hoping they were gonna deliver it this morning and they didn't, it's more in the afternoon now. So I think it was on the truck too long. So this is one that you just wanna be careful when you're digging your fin finger in there because mine came a little damaged, which I am gonna contact Anastasia. They're pretty good about fixing that. Anyway, then the next shade is Rose Fire and that's metallic fiery copper with multi-dimensional reflex. That again is a very soft shade, but the payment and the pigment is unbelievably gorgeous. And then the next shade is Sun Rose and that's a matte peachy brown with sparkling reflex. So it's a matte with a little bit of shimmer. I can barely see it. I can, you can tell on my arm, I can barely see that. So I appreciate that. And then the last shade in that row is Nova, which is a metallic golden bronze with multi-dimensional reflex. And that is definitely more of like an army greenish brown. Like there's so much versatility with that color. It is so unbelievably gorgeous. Now let's go into the last row. And that first shade is Heavenly, which is a metallic platinum gold with multi-dimensional reflex. That one is more of a topper shade. There's not a lot of base or depth to it, but there's enough in there that it's going to be it's gonna layer gorgeous amongst the other shades in this. And then the next one is Element, which is a metallic rosy brown. Oh, it's so beautiful. And then the next one is Ashes, which is a matte grayish taupe with sparkling reflex. So it's interesting, all of the mattes except for one have some type of sparkling reflex in it 
which can be forgiving on mature eyes. So remember that, or in blending situations, sometimes when there is a bit of reflect in there, it can trick the eye a little and not look so patchy. So those are actually really good for that. And that's a gorgeous cool tone shade if you're a cool tone lover. The next one is Dune, and that's the one that's not recommended for around the eye area. And that's a matte rustic brown. And because there is a lot of red tones in there, I think that's where the red light comes from. So it's just something to think about and make your own judgment call on it. We're gonna use it today because it is a really beautiful shade. And then Nocturne is metallic gray stone with sparkling reflex. And then Noble is a matte plum brown and that is the only like true matte in this palette so let's take a look at it compared to the Novu palette just in case you guys had any questions of oh if I already own the Novu palette Christy do I really need this one and I mean that's up to you but I think that they complement and I think there's colors that really are going to go beautiful together I'd love to kind of combine the two and create a look as well down the road so on my hand I'm going to swatch haze from the new rose metal palette next to hope and those would probably be the two that you would think would kind of compare the most uh, but I still think they're very very different I do feel like hope has more green in there whereas haze almost has like a silver tone reflect in there that switches it up and then I'll put Nova next to there and the Nova gives you more of like a bronzed green those colors are so insanely beautiful it's not even funny how gorgeous they are so those are the ones that I felt like maybe you know if you had any questions can compare the most but I'll just kind of take let you take a look at the swatches I kind of did like rose metals and then I went into the Novu palette next to it just so you can kind of see the metallics and how different they they are but how complementary they are to each other with this uh novu palette you had like the uh right here the purple you had like a blue color again the darker brown matte and then you had a few pops of green you know where that was really beautiful but then when you look at this one in studio you can just really see that there is a difference you know there isn't a whole lot of comparisons there like identical comparisons i should say and these are just this is my opinion so i think this is wow so beautiful and the packaging i just love the packaging and the detail the she does the little corner things like she did with the Novu palette she put like in the middle the gold detail or on this one she put it on the corners to kind of switch it up I like this type of packaging where it just looks shimmery oh my gosh but let's take a look at this wow 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 I mean the packaging she outdid herself as always and I love how slim this is that it's so easy to travel with it's just beautiful everything about this is just gorgeous I mean this is more like a rose gold but yeah, it's just stunning. I think we're gonna just start with ashes, that taupe color, and just kind of see what that one looks like as maybe like a transition shade. And we'll kind of start off with more of a softer look that's more wearable for daytime. That taupe to me is so almost neutral cool where it's not too cool and scary. And it just looks really beautiful the way it's swatched. Now remember this one has a little bit of a shimmering effect to it but i literally cannot see it in the swatch so we're going to use my angie a502 bk beauty brush we're going to dip that in because i don't know the pigmentation on this obviously this is first impressions all of my brushes are clean just so you guys know that and we're just going to take that right oh that's very pigmented so i'm glad i went with this brush but i'm glad i did like a little tapping motion no fallout which is nice i know a lot of people complain that her shadows have a lot of fallout i'm okay with it because i think they glide on the absolute best that is such a pretty color so when you don't really feel like you see a good transition shade in here like a light enough one on darker skin tones this will be lighter but for my skin tone or light medium skin tones sorry let me get this hair out of the way so we're not fighting it my little bangs going on and let's do this again when you don't have a transition shade you want to make sure that you're pressing here okay 
keeping that nice and tight. And then what you can do to create a transition shade is take another clean brush. And this is the Wayne Goss Edit Number no. Five. It doesn't have to be this brush. I'm just saying a clean brush. And what you're gonna do is you're going to just hold the brush far back, okay? And then just take it and lightly start shading it upwards. And I like this particular brush for this method because it's fluffy, but it's pointed. So that pointed tip is gonna help me not bring up the product all the way through here. I wanna give myself some type of uh, space right here so we can put lighter colors there. And sometimes when I don't do it this way, I have less space to work with. I get a little too crazy. So this right here is probably one of the most beautiful colors I have ever, ever, ever used. Like literally, it looks like it's gonna be like really taupey, taupey, I don't know if that's a word. It looks like it's gonna be like, you know, a little, uh, little too cool toned if, you, if you're not a big cool tone person, but it's really not. It actually goes on my eye with a lot of, almost like how Hoola bronzer from Benefit is, kind of that vibe to me where you're getting a little bit of a neutral cool, but you still can actually pull some warmth in there as well. That actually surprised me. I really, really love that shade. Now I'm taking another clean brush and it's a little bit fluffier and I'm just gonna kind of go like this, like that windshield wiper motions and just really soften that out. And you can take this and literally, this could be your eyeshadow look right here. Wow. That is really beautiful. I mean, really beautiful. No fallout. Wow, that is gorgeous, you guys. I absolutely, absolutely love that color. Now let's go in to Sun Rose and I'll show you how you can bring some warmth into this. And I'm gonna go above that area that I did the, and again, I like this one because it has a little bit of a point to it, but it's a very fluffy point and I don't want too much pigment there. So this one's perfect for kind of creating like an ombre effect. And that really brought warmth into this look. So beautiful. And then I'm gonna take that uh, Wayne Goss brush we were using and we're just going to blend the two together. Again, no product on this, I'm just blending. So what you could do is just take like a Heavenly right there and then you can take that and put it on your lid. And that's more of a topper shade with base in it. Typically toppers don't have a lot of base in them. Oh my gosh, that reflect is unbelievably beautiful. Wow, I'm gonna take it onto my Dominique Cosmetics pigment brush, but this could be your daytime look right here. And we're going back into ashes and I'm just going to just bring a little bit more depth on that crease, building that up, so pretty. And that right there, pop on some mascara and you have a gorgeous daytime look right there. So beautiful. I didn't do this eye because we're gonna kind of take that off and we're gonna create a more glam look. But yeah, that is so beautiful. I mean, just, just the ease you can do with this, really creating something soft and then really building this up into something glam. That is a gorgeous shade. That reminds me of that Pat McGrath shade, you guys, I really love. That reminds me of that. Oh, all right. So I kind of did a little bit of a clean slate there off camera and I am just kind of took my eyeshadow base and redid that because now we're gonna create more of a glam look and I don't wanna mix and match too many colors. So again, we're gonna start off with ashes because I did really, really love that color. So I'm gonna build that one up and I think this will be more of like a smoky green uh, inspired type look. And I didn't put too much powder on my lid because we're gonna do a lot of metallic there. Just doing the same method I already did. All right, now let's start building up that corner with Noble, and that is like a that's like a rustic deep brown. Oh, it's so pretty, and that's gonna give you the most base out of this. And this is the only true matte in this palette. Just taking it on my Wayne Goss number no. seven brush, and we're gonna do like more stamping motions with this because I do know Anastasia shadows can be 
a little bit more fallout, that's why I am doing it this way. Although it may look choppy, that's when the blending brush will come into place. So now I'm gonna take another clean brush. We're gonna take the Dalian's 776 blending brush. It's like perfectly cleaned. And we're just gonna take that right here. Okay, now I'm gonna take that first brush we were using, which was the BK Beauty A502, going back into ashes. And to further kind of soften out the edges, what you can do is take, I'm gonna clean this Dallium 776 off, and you can take like your setting powders. So I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury one, Airbrush Flawless, and I'm gonna dip into that and I'm gonna go above that just to make sure. Oh yeah, see how that just blended that uh, brow bone area so beautifully. That's another little makeup trick. See how that just takes away any kind of imperfections or mistakes and it just blends everything together. But you don't wanna do it too fluffy of a brush because you don't wanna take away those that color you put in there but yeah that's perfect do you see how that just blends effortlessly so pretty i love that little trick all right let's take a little bit of rose quartz this shade right there let's take that one so let's go on to this wayne goss number six edit brush oh yeah that's pretty and we're just putting that right there we're just adding a little bit of purple tone to that I'm really just trying to play with all the colors in here. It's like a, a shimmer color. Ooh, that's really pretty. All right, let's go back in to uh, ashes again, going back into my Sonia G brush. And we're just gonna pull that up, pull that up. So again, just always a blending game here. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of Sun Rose, and that was like that warmer brown color. I think, what, uh, maybe not. Maybe that will be too much warmth in there. We already used that color, so we're gonna, we're gonna, when we create a fall look, I'll do more of that in that copper. Comment below if you wanna see that, and then really pull a lot of that color and a lot of that color. So those are colors we're not gonna touch today, just because I wanna stick to these more, uh, these type of tones, you know, just like the earthy tones, I should say. I want to, I want to stick to those. So let's start playing a little bit with that Nocturne, this color right here, and that deep, like gorgeous, like, ooh, I don't know, like a slate green is, I guess that's how I can, I can describe it. Ooh, that is beautiful. Do you all see that? My gosh, that's gorgeous. Oh. Like I wanna just do another video right away because that's how much I love these shades. Oh my gosh. I knew it. I knew I was gonna love this palette. I just knew it. And we're gonna go back into Haze, that taupe color, and just kind of blend that out now. I was gonna do that one right there, but I think we're gonna leave that for that look. And we're gonna do that very soon, so stand by for that one. We're gonna play with this gorgeous metallic one. This is that metallic that just goes on and on and on and on. I mean, really? <sighs> Gosh, it's just, you can see it on my finger. Like that is crazy beautiful, crazy beautiful. Like I said, this is that green that everyone could wear. Like you can't say that you don't like green and not wear this shade, like it's so beautiful. We're gonna take that on my finger first we're just gonna put that all over the lid. Oh, I even did my nails. Thank you, Tracy. Her daughter and her watch my videos sometimes. Uh, oh my gosh, so pretty. She did a beautiful job. She put like a light pink sparkle on me. I was like, it's gonna go beautiful with the palette I'm reviewing. And my goodness, is this shade Flippin' stunning. All right, uh, let's go back in to this BK, or not go back in, but let's go into this BK Beauty A505 with Angie. We're gonna go back into that same shade. It's a nice flat brush. Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't even tell you how beautiful these shades are. So beautiful. Going back in to 
that first shade, which is Ashes, that taupe shade. Oh, Anastasia, you outdid yourself. Outdid yourself. All right, now let's go in to that center spotlight shade, Heavenly. I'm gonna just take that onto my finger, get it on there really good. I mean, goodness gracious, goodness gracious. Me oh my. All right, we're gonna put this right into the spotlight. Oh my gosh, oh, this is so pretty. I don't even care how dramatic I am. Like that is, oh my gosh, it's just pure perfection, pure perfection. Oh, I am actually gonna start taking a little bit of this shade right here, Rose Quartz, and I'm gonna put that above this little knock, uh, the taupey shade. Oh yeah, that's pretty. So that one's a little powdery in the pan. That formulation has a lot of powder to it. So just be mindful of that. <sighs> All right, we're gonna get in a little bit lighter and we're gonna take this, uh, just a smaller flat brush. And we're gonna go back into Heavenly. Now I'm gonna take that same shade and we're gonna put that right into the inner corner. Oh. My, me, oh my. That is stunning. I mean, once I clean up, it's gonna be stunning. All right, now uh, let's not do any liners. We're gonna just use this palette. So I'm gonna take that brown one first, that really pretty matte brown, and I'm actually gonna use that as like a liner. So let's take my, I really need a backup of this. This is my favorite liner brush. This is the 208, and I love how fine that is. Oh, I just love this brush. So we're gonna take that one onto this corner brown shade called Noble. Build the outer area first. Just using the same color, that Noble. The only matte brown, and we're using that again as a liner. Now we're gonna go underneath that with the shade Nocturne. And we're gonna take that onto the rougher number 23 brush. We're just going right underneath it. There's a little bit of fallout, it's okay. We had enough powder down, so we're fine. I wanna pull a little bit of this, uh, this color in. It's like a coppery brown, it's called Element. I wanna take that, and I wanna put that below that. Ooh, that's a beautiful color. Oh yes, we're gonna tie that into the top section too. That is a really pretty color. Wow, that's really beautiful. Let's tie a little bit of that into the top section. I'm gonna take this BK Beauty A502 uh, brush and we're gonna go into that color and we're gonna tie a little bit of that up here. Ooh, I love that color. <gasps> Oh, she's pretty. We've used quite a bit of colors in this palette. I will show you guys right there and I will put a star on all the ones we used in this look already. Like that's pretty much almost all the shades but the burnt orange one and the fuchsia pink one and then Dune. You could probably use Dune as like an upper area where it's not too close to your eye. We could take a little bit of that color just so we can see how it performs. So that's Dune. I'm gonna take it onto this Wayne Goss brush. We're gonna take it up here more. Yeah, ooh, that's a really beautiful shade. Oh, that's really beautiful. I gotta tell you, Dune is a really beautiful reddish brown. Really beautiful. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my Chikahoto brush and we're just gonna kinda start blending and diffusing out. Oh, Glam Fam, this is how the final look turned out and it is something Truly, truly special. I stepped away from my studio, went into natural daylight, and you guys, those tones and those pigments and those metallics are just 
magical. They are incredible. They are beautiful. There is just, there's so many words I can describe for this palette and I cannot stress to you guys enough how much I love this palette, how much I love this color story, how much I love the way everything applied. It just came together so beautiful. By the time I added my Anastasia Beverly Hills lengthy lashes on and cleaned up the look, I actually ended up adding in a little bit of my Hourglass Vivid. You guys know this is like my ultimate. It is just uh, my ultimate and it just goes with this look so beautiful. I probably would have used this first and then put the metallics over just to give it that little extra kick but I ended up going over it and then I just put the lighter one on as well. I just went back into this one right here. So pretty. It's just magical. It really is. This is a solid five out of five stars. Oh my Goodness, it is just perfection. Let's just take a look at my rate cart really quickly. Application is just unbelievable. I don't think there was as much fallout with these shadows. I think everything performed to perfection. So I'm gonna give that 100% beautiful. The pigmentation was completely there. I mean, just the pigments in itself. The fact that I didn't think there was gonna be enough depth in this palette, I thought, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to create that depth and my goodness did I. So 100% is there with the pigmentation. Shade formulation, oh my gosh. Like I said, the metallics performed extraordinary. What was, I thought, gonna be a topper ended up having so much base that it just added even more and is gonna be so amazing for us ladies over 40. And the mattes are incredible. I mean, just incredible. 100% for shade formulation. Long wearing, we always know with Anastasia formulas, it's just, it's incredible. They're so long wearing, I can't even tell you guys. It's 100% for that color story. Oh, this was just, again, everything I wanted from the Natasha Denona Retro Palette, ABH gave it to me. It is just unbelievable. Truly, truly, truly magical, 100% absolutely worth the $55. This is a very, in my opinion, an affordable palette for the quality and perfection you're getting from these pigments, from these shades. Here you're paying $55 and you're getting 200% more in the pan size than her normal shadows and you're just getting quality. So 100%, oh my gosh, you guys, this is just incredible. This deserved a 10 out of 10 stars and 100% of me, 120,000% of me would recommend this palette, especially for my girls that like neutral earthy tones that love green tones. You're going to die over this palette. Seriously, Susan in the Bay Area, Lise, I know girls, we talk about green shadows all the time. These are perfection. And for my girls out there that don't like to play with a lot of greens, these are more earthy tone greens. These are not like true greens. Like the Novu palette was very green. This had a lot more green in it. Whereas this one has more slate greens, army greens, brown greens, uh, almost grayish greens. Like they're just beautiful. And I cannot wait to play with the copper shades in this palette. I'm really excited to play with those pumpkin tones. I think it's going to be a gorgeous Thanksgiving look. So let me know if you want me to do this for the Thanksgiving look, because it's just beautiful. So beautiful. You guys let me know in the comments section, if this was something on your, uh, wish list, if this is something you want to purchase, it is available on AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com. I'll have to tell you guys, because some of these I think melted in the truck. I can already almost see pan on that one. And that's because it kind of melted a little bit. And I contacted them in while I was doing my lashes and they're already sending me out a new one and I can send this one back. So as soon as I get the new one in, I'll create another look. But that's how amazing their customer service is. So kudos to ABH for having perfection and they're sending it to me expedited shipping just like I paid. So I greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much to the customer service team there. And I'm just 
just really happy, you guys. I absolutely, absolutely love this look. So let me know in the comments and let me know if you like this look. Let me know if this is your kind of color story, if you're just as excited for that. I do have the new Pat McGrath holiday one coming up and a lot of new fun stuff on Sunday. So make sure you have that notification bell on. And if you are new here and you haven't hit that subscribe button, please remember to hit that subscribe button and click that post notification bell. Join us. We're here every Friday and Sunday and we just love for you to become part of our family. Please give this video a huge thumbs up as always when you hit the like button and when you comment below, it really does help my videos out. You can follow me on all my socials at Christy Allure and check out my merch, GlamorousLifeCollections.com. All the affiliate links will be in the description box below. Make sure you hit that arrow, that drop down, and you will see everything that's on my face. All right, you guys, I will see you on the next video. Love you guys. Bye.